and I'm back. I know I disappeared for a minute, but I I'm back, and I'm gonna be talking to you guys about ThinkPads and why I think they are the best laptop to use and to collect. Okay, so I need to talk about a little addiction. I'm sorry, a hobby. It's not an addiction of collecting ThinkPads and how it all began and why ThinkPads hold a little magical spot in my heart. And it all starts off with the first in my collection. This beautiful bastard right here is the X230. I've had this for a while. I've customized the shit out of it. I got the third-party battery. I've modified the BIOS to you know take third-party battery. Maxed out the hard drive and the RAM. I upgraded to the backlit keyboard. This model came, oh man, this thing needs a bath. This thing came with the IPS screen. Still love this laptop. It's so powerful. It's it's an absolute unit. But then I decided I want something lighter, something thinner, maybe a touch more power. And that's when my buddy offered me the X1 Carbon, third generation. Now, when he got this to me, it was a little little beat up, and I have been meaning to do an actual full-on review of this thing, because um, as laptops go, this is probably the best laptop I've ever owned, hands down. Um, with some caveats that I don't know if I'm going to take the time to go into today, but uh, this thing is a beast. i7 processor. This one, unfortunately, maxes out at 8 gigs of RAM, but that's still quite usable, especially in a modern system. And you think this is probably the Apex, and in a lot of ways you are correct. This is, in my opinion, a, a definite contender for Apex laptop, the X1 Carbon. However, it happened again. This is the newest member of the ThinkPad family, and... This one, unlike the other two, which were my daily driver's very productive tools, this one was also a bit of a, an experiment on my behalf. See, the thing about this one, this is the X120E, um, actually a little bit smaller uh, than the X1, uh, X230, and I haven't, obviously haven't customized yet because it hasn't been a daily driver yet. But this thing, I was able to pick this machine up with the battery, um, minimal RAM and no hard drive, for $15. And it wasn't like the only one I was able to get for that price. There are quite a few of the X120Es available around that same price tag. Now, granted, it wasn't just $15. There was a $7 shipping fee and when i got it i needed to put a cheap 19 dollars ssd in here and i went ahead and splurged and upgraded this thing so this thing also has eight gigs of ram which i really investment wise power wise this thing is an absolute unit and this thing well this one can't even really run, run windows efficiently this is basically a lightweight debian machine uh it's great for word processing because you got that phenomenal keyboard which brings me to the first part of why I think ThinkPads are such phenomenal devices. Even the $15 trash one has a phenomenal keyboard. And if you're doing coding, if you're doing creative writing, um, the last thing you need for a serious work machine is an unreliable keyboard. I'm looking at you, Apple. And even the cheap $15, the old long in the tooth, but very usable X120. Same, actually this is better than that one. Great keyboard. And then you go to the lightweight, ultrabook thin, but inside you have the keys. Uh, this one, this one's a better daily driver mostly because unlike the other two, we got this sweet track, this glass top trackpad, which um, is absolutely phenomenal. Two big reasons for me in this little rambly video um, why I think ThinkPads are amazing is 
excellent value. Absolutely phenomenal value. You can get some of the, like this one, this one I paid 200 and this was maxed out. Like absolutely maxed out for a third generation X1. But I've been able to find i5 mid-range versions of this exact same laptop for less than 150 bucks. I have found this one as low as $80. And this one, this one you can run any operating system um, with a little bit of finagling and great and a great user experience because it's got the it's got the horsepower to do it. And with this big fat brick battery, this thing will last you a good seven hours. Eighty dollars. That's phenomenal. And then even down here with my little fifteen dollar three hour battery, still at the end of the day, the value to cost ratio is just insane. And then you get that phenomenal keyboard. And the part that I completely flaked on, which is what inspired me to talk about this, the upgradability. Not a single one of these machines can I not just open up and modify the internals. Um, and they usually, even when you go on to Lenovo's website or sometimes the Wayback Machine, you can actually find the service manuals with a step-by-step walkthrough of how to open these bad boys up and do your upgrade so that is why those are those this long convoluted video um the upgradability the phenomenal keyboards the bang for a buck awesomeness of a thinkpad is part of the reason why i love these things and I know I got three, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be that guy, I'm gonna be that guy. I'm eyeing an X220T, the tablet version, for that sweet, sweet stylus activity. Again, another computer that can be bought for around $100 and with some light upgrades. All right guys, hope you like this video. Um, trying to get back into the groove, the rhythm um, of making things again. And hopefully this is a video that you will appreciate watching. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.